2006, we, um, we built a 322-man work camp um, for the construction of the U.S. Embassy. Um, being here that long, we establish a good relationship with the government here. Uh, we also know uh, the people. We have um, quite a few local contractors here that we use, we stay in contact with. DRC left Haiti uh, in November, uh, right before the earthquake hit. We got called back into the country uh, when the earthquake happened. We immediately picked up our contractors that we were working with before. We came in with uh, some hand labor, uh, multiple machines as you see in the background, bobcats, front end loaders, uh, trucks, dump trucks. Uh, and we started removing all the debris from the sidewalks, uh, everything in the right of way. Taking it, putting it in the front end loaders and then loading to the trucks and then hauling it to the local landfills here. The streets are very confined, you're using smaller equipment, it's a lot of hand labor, uh, which we typically don't have in the states. Uh, and you have a lot of people out here just to manage the people of the, of the local areas. Uh, you have different markets and, and vendors on the streets, plus all the people, a lot of people don't own cars here, so a lot of foot traffic. There's a lot of people just to manage that. We probably have about 300 locals on staff now. Uh, as you can see here, anybody in a yellow or green shirt just on this side is, a, is locally hired. Some of the operators and truck drivers are locally hired. Once we clean an area with the streets and we load the dump trucks, the dump trucks then go to a, a landfill. It's called 2TA Landfill. It's a local landfill here in Haiti that the, the Haitians use. Uh, we take all of the material into that landfill, and when we first got to the landfill, it was, uh, you know, just stuff that was dumped everywhere, it was muddy, you couldn't get trucks in there. What we've done is we've taken all the debris, like you see here, the concrete and the rubble, and we've now crushed it and made roads so that people can access the, uh, the dump facility now. So it's really improved the dump facility, uh, it, whereas you couldn't even get in, you couldn't even drive 100 yards into it the first day I went to it, now you can drive all the way through it. I was selling DRC as far as the debris contract in Haiti, I'd say look at our record. We were here first, we've gotten the job done, we've got the most experience in this kind of work, and so just look at our record. <laughs>